Hello everyone, uh, welcome. Uh, what I want to show you guys today and what I kind of want to showcase is how to build a website that auto, auto contracts, like the background image. So you have a background image here and this is the website actually at the bottom. Well, it's just a navigation bar at the bottom here. Let's close it. Let's open the other one where you guys can see a little bit more of what's going on. So let's close this bad boy. This one actually have a better image and some a little bit more on it. So this is a website I'm building for a buddy of mine, which I told him you know, if you graduate college, you know, I would I would uh and if you graduate much out of school, I'll build my website to start his own business. So that's what I'm doing right now. So let's jump in code view here for a second and show you guys what I mean. It's gonna auto expand the background is gonna auto expand and contract and I should probably show you guys a sample here. Well this might go off screen here for a second guys because uh I have, I'm running multiple screen here, so I'll drag it back onto screen if it does. Actually, it doesn't. So, there we go. So, if we should scale this in, watch the image. See? Watch the background image. It stays exactly where it's supposed to. It doesn't move. It auto expands and contract based on browser size. I'm going to drag this to my next screen as well so you can see. As you can see, it stays where it's supposed to. Watch the hand right here. It won't go past here no matter how much you auto expand and contract it will stay within a relative position so there we go see so I'm just gonna show you guys that's what I'm talking about here so in the code this is really really simple to set up let's jump in my style sheet that I create all you need to do is specify HTML height 100% body height 100% margin 0 padding 0 and this is a fix for Internet Explorer, which is added into here. So you said HTML overflow dash Y colon hidden semicolon, and you close that up. So you put a curly brace to open up the tag. You guys might use to it something like something like that. That's kind of probably what you're used to, but I, I just code this out because it's a very small code. It doesn't need to be uh, on separate lines. And then we put body overflow, same thing, but this time we put auto. And this is just to fix any explorer. So we said back BG, which is gonna, which is what's gonna hold your background image. You're not gonna specify your background image in your body tag. You're gonna specify in a BG tag, and I'll tell you how this works in a second. So number sign BG position absolute Z index equals minus one. So Z index colon dash minus one semicolon. We close it up. You guys know it's CSS. You should be able to close it off. Now we're going to set a position again on the same BG tag. So we're going to say position fixed, top left, top zero, left zero, with 100% height, 100%. So we're telling that we want this to be 100% of the window as well, even though we posit we uh, set it up here to be uh, Z index. And uh, but what this does, this uh, have in an explorer make it touch the window 100% by 100%. For any other browser, they'll use this to stuck it to the to the size of the web page. But Internet Explorer, for some reason, doesn't do that. So it's pretty simple fix, and I didn't type the code out because you know it's it's just a simple fix. You guys can see. I'm gonna stick this code in a little comment box that pop over the video, so you guys can hug that up and build your own little website with it if you guys want. So I just thought I'll share that because I'm pretty sure people have been wanting how to do that. So I thought I'll share how to make your background auto expand. Uh, based on screen size so again I'll give you a sneak look of preview so this is what it is and in the background here you can see just watch the hand or the head the head will automatically shrink because it's gonna shrink the image in the X position see it's shrinking the image in the X position so it still show the entire image it just made it smaller that's all it's doing As you can see it's expanding again to make it larger so if you watch here, you realize you, you always see here and you always see earlier little part of my hands there. But it just shrinks it. That's all it does. It just shrinks it a little bit. See? Okay. So that's how you create that, guys. Hope this helps. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll stick the code, like I said, if YouTube will let me in the description. If not, I'll put it in a little pop-up box that pops over the video, you know, little comment area. So see you guys later.